Welcome to Vintage Story. This is a single player world. My name is Ashantin. I play a lot of Vintage Story and this world is starting out on the 1.16 release, pre-release candidate 2. So we are early in this pre-release. Yes, I'm in an established world. I have not been going in this world very long. We're at a fairly primitive stage, although I do have things like windmills, but we haven't got to iron or anything serious like that. It's a very, very early world. So what I've decided to do is to look at my map and to go and find a new area. Now I've explored quite a bit of this map, uh, but as you can see, there's a whole load more to explore. And I quite fancy this area over here. Um, we've got areas down here that would also be good. Let's have a look round. And this area looks very nice over here. So we've got quite a lot of this area explored. I'm working on a world that has been set up with a patchy climate so it doesn't always hold that if you go north you get to a cold area you can go north and find yourself in a desert area so we have to be very very careful that we don't sort of oh gosh look at that uh, that we don't sort of um, assume that we are going to go south and find a warm area now there are some lovely areas around here and I'm very, very tempted by that. But I think the area that attracts me most, let me have a look at my own valley. Um, let's just go to where we are. Yeah, it is this sort of upland. Now I'm looking for a place in winter. Now this is definitely jungle. Mm, I think that might be jungle too. And I don't want jungle. I would like this sort of warm upland more than jungle. Yeah. So, which way should we go? I, I'm going to have to generate new land. Yeah, I've generated a lot down here. So, what we need to do is to go... Let's go back to press space bar. If I go due south... How much have I generated there? Not a lot. Yeah, I fancy this area over here. So, it's 688 1029. So I think what we need to do No, is to just go. There's a translocator there. Where am I? I'm over here. Yeah, so it's basically south. Um, south east. Right, let's put a waypoint there, which is egg, 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 mm, existing edge. And we'll put it in red. And we will put that save. And that tells me where I am, okay? So we'll try and head towards there. So we're going to go in that direction. Okay. Now, we are going to look for a new land. And you will see already that we've had a tragedy. Well, not a tragedy. I had 59 torches, guys, but the recipe for torches has changed, so those no longer apply. 
Well, well. Let's wash out this pot and get rid of the rot before we go. Let's do this. There we go. Right, and let's put the rot back in here. Why I chose to have rot in fuel, I don't know. 1L. That looks odd. I'm sure it's okay. Right, we've got some low fertility soil. Yes, that links. Do we need some brown coal? Why not? Let's take some coal with us. I would like to take a bucket of water. It's getting prepared for a journey here. Oh, wow. Ha ha ha! New water mechanics. Well, well, well. And then in here, I think a torch is now a stick with a couple of grass. Yes. It says two. Torch. Right, so we have to burn this in a fireplace to make torches. Good grief. Well, it appears that the recipe for linen has changed. It used to be for flax twine, but look, we get clean bandage. So let's see what the recipe for linen is now. How interesting. This is a change I hadn't picked up. Press H for help. Let's look for linen. And it is, ah, I think it's where I put it in the crafting grid. No, that's bandage. Ooh. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Wow. So I'm not getting linen. I'm just getting bandages. Interesting. <laughs> but bed wants linen. Right, let's have a look here. Does that, do four still make twine? They do. So they still make flax twine. Um, there's nothing here that makes linen this way, is there? No. Okay, just checking. This is the thing with pre-releases. Sometimes the the help and the wiki haven't caught up. So if we, let's change that to twine. Now, that used to be the recipe for flax bandages. Interesting, very interesting. <laughs> Something, so I can't make a bed at the moment because I haven't a clue how to make a bed. Ah, oh, but there's more than one way too. We can make a pallet. We can do make a pallet. Let's do that. Let's leave our blocks here. Um, okay, that's number one that we found. That we don't know what's going on there. We know that the torches have changed fundamentally, which is amazing. I can still eat food, thank goodness. <laughs> right now. What we also have is the ability to make crates. So let's press H and let's look at crate. Ooh, aged crate, birch crate. Did you just throw a stone at me? No. He's throw oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he threw a stone at me. Wow. Little devil. That is very bad news. Yeah. Oh. 
Where did he go? Oh, there's one in the dark. Oh, gosh. Oh, my word. Yeah, there he is. Wow, that's some knockback. Wretched creature. My goodness. Well, I, I'd heard of this. Now, he's coming back again, isn't he? To throw more stones at me. That's three of them killed. And there's another one. Wonderful. I note, guys, that you don't get the stones, by the way. Uh-oh. Oh. Torches. Right, that's okay. Anywhere where I've got a burned out torch. Just shows me I shouldn't have littered everywhere with burnt out torches, doesn't it? Gosh. So I'm going to have white blocks everywhere. That's fine. We'll just live with it. No, we're okay there. Wow, that is some knockback. So we are confused on linen. And my... Oh. Uh... Oh. Um, I've got a floating block here. Right. Now, I had this block in my tool rack, and it's now sort of shifted outside. <laughs> oh, that still comes out as normal. That's uh, oh my gosh, look at them. I tell you what, my idea of living. Go flipping heck, look at it. Good grief. And I bet they still give mingy, mingy things that they drop. Right, I am not doing that well on preparing to go anywhere at the moment. But those things are lethal. It says occasionally a drifter will spawn that will throw rocks. Yeah, you threw it at yourself then. But all these, ev every single one of them, I'm going to die here. Every single one of them that spawned has thrown rocks at me. You know, if I'm just going to be under... It just shows you this design is not going to work with these drifters, doesn't it? I've always lived very happily um, outside, but it just shows you I'm going to have to put... Oh, sorry, uh, a whole different thing on. Yeah, I am going to die. Well, I'm close to my area, so I might as well die. Go on. Kill me, drifter. Kill me. Yeah, we don't get the rocks, do we? Huh. Look at you. So many drifters. Oh, and they can throw upwards. Did you see that? He threw upwards. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Goodness me. Well, I'm at death's door through these wretched things. Oh my gosh, where have they gone now? And I've still got one down the other side, I think. So my lovely open design here, which I love so much, uh, is not going to be terribly effective. Unless I put lights around the outside. Gosh, that's quite some mechanism, isn't it? Look at it, here he comes. Mm -hmm. 
I think you're throwing it against the fence. And he seems to be hitting himself. That's a good way of killing a drifter. Oh, I like that. Come on, mate, kill yourself on my fence. Will he kill himself? Can they, how much damage do they take from themselves before they die? Or is it impossible that they are killed by themselves? <laughs> One hit, he was taking damage. He was taking damage. Oh my goodness. I can hear more thudding. Where are you throwing rocks at now? Are you attacking? What are you attacking? There was, where are you? Is the one down there? Oh yes, he's hiding down here. Oh, look at him. Wonderful. Oh, missed. Oops, hit. Come on, one more hit. Good grief. Yeah, hit the fence, mate. Yeah, you need to be on a parallel line. You can throw upwards, though. Look, it's been deflected off there. I mean, I don't like the idea of being killed by these wretched drifters, but... I mean, they drop nothing, so this is a complete nuisance factor. People that throw rocks at you. Are you going to die now? Are you going to kill you or me? It's no use sulking. It's not my fault you're hitting yourself. Yeah, you're stuck behind there now, aren't you? Wow! I tell you what, this is a, this is a whole new ball game. I don't know how a new player will survive this very easily because you normally regard yourself safe if you pillar up or do something like that but for new players this is going to be oh hello yeah they can throw upwards oh there's two of them wow I'm supposed to be dead and now they've gone off why would they go off? You want to get more rocks? See, they're throwing rocks. You can see the rocks, but you don't get the rocks. Yep. And fortunately, we are right here. Well, guys. Well, let's just shut the door. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was certainly a new mechanic. And what I'm gonna do is because of the way it works and because I'm having trouble with linen, I am gonna run two series in parallel. So I'm actually going to put up this video fairly quickly. Uh, and then Sarity and Tyron can see what it's like for someone actually playing single player. I hope you follow this series. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Bye bye.